Saturn's rings are vanishing, and according to NASA, by March 2025, they will be so faint that we won't be able to see them anymore. Imagine the familiar image of Saturn without its iconic rings, it's going to be like that. These rings have been a recognizable feature of Saturn for millions of years. They were like a special code that made it easy for us to identify Saturn, even as little kids. But now, these rings are on the brink of disappearing. Why is this happening? Could there be something wrong? NASA thinks there might be a connection with Saturn's two moons, Enceladus and Titan. These moons are interesting because NASA believes there might be a chance that life could exist on them. So, is there some intelligent life causing Saturn's rings to vanish? That's a question NASA is exploring. Well, NASA won't talk about the idea of intelligent life causing the ring disappearance for now. Let's set that aside and look at something interesting. Check out these three pictures from NASA taken in different years. In the first one, you can see faint holes on Saturn's rings. Then, about 25 years later in 2004, those holes seem to be going away. But suddenly, in 2009, they appear again. Something strange seems to be happening with Saturn's rings. In 2018, Dr. James O'Donohue, a scientist from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, shared that NASA's teams knew from the start that Saturn's rings were vanishing. However, because the Voyager 1 and 2 missions had been studying for three decades, the expected time for this event was estimated to be around 300 million years later. That's why NASA didn't make any big moves on it. But then, because of increasing interest, NASA planned a special mission named Cassini to explore Jupiter and Saturn separately. The Cassini spacecraft took off on a long journey to Saturn. This mission, called Cassini, brought attention to a serious issue with Saturn's rings. The data from Cassini showed that the holes in Saturn's rings were caused by a special destructive event. This event won't take 300 million years to happen, as originally thought, but it will occur three times faster, in just 100 million years. This phenomenon will eventually consume all of Saturn's rings. So, why is NASA saying that Saturn's rings will disappear by 2025? I'll explain the whole story in a bit. But before that, when Cassini was launched in 2004 and reached Saturn, NASA discovered that the rings were mostly made of water and ice, which you might already know. What surprised them was finding out that the icy water in the rings was rapidly falling onto Saturn like rain. According to NASA, this rain is so fast that in just half an hour, it could fill up an Olympic-sized swimming pool in a small area of Saturn. Unlike Earth, there is no water cycle system on Saturn. It's not like there's an ocean on Saturn, and the water is evaporating to come down again, as in Earth's water cycle. Instead, Saturn's rings are melting, and the water is flowing down and flooding the planet. Unfortunately, there's no turning back once this process starts. Interestingly, Saturn itself is causing the ice to melt, and the reason behind this is quite fascinating. Let's imagine someone wants to get rid of an unexpected gift. Here's the thing. When sunlight, or UV light, touches the ice cubes in Saturn's rings, the water molecules in those rings use that energy to turn into hydronium ions by adding an extra hydrogen ion. Normally, these tiny hydronium ions could end up anywhere in outer space. However, since electric charge and magnetism are connected, these charged hydronium ions are drawn towards Saturn's huge magnetic field. As a result, they start throwing out h ions, essentially pouring water onto Saturn. What's interesting is that a detailed study suggests that what's happening on Saturn is an ongoing process. Because of this, every second that passes, different parts of Saturn's rings are gradually disappearing. Now, the question arises about those mysterious holes that vanish, reappear, and vanish again. How does that happen? When NASA's Cassini spacecraft was exploring Saturn's rings, scientists noticed an interesting pattern in the holes on those rings. They observed that these unusual patterns are more noticeable when both day and night on Saturn are the same length, during its equinox. This happens when Saturn's equator and its rings are perfectly aligned with the Sun. To give you an idea, on Earth, this alignment occurs only twice a year, on March 21st and September 23rd. However, due to Saturn's large orbit, this equinox occurs once every 15 Earth years and lasts for months instead of a day. Now, you might be wondering, if during the equinox, only the outer ring of Saturn receives direct sunlight, why are holes appearing in the inner rings due to ice melting? There seems to be something else happening in Saturn's rings that we may not fully understand yet. Some independent physicists, however, believe that during the equinox, instead of spreading evenly across the flat ring, the ions in Saturn's rings start forming spikes creating standing structures that leave holes underneath them. 
So, according to these physicists, when the sun's warmth doesn't reach the inner rings of Saturn, those rings start to cool down. As a result, the magnetic properties of certain things in those rings increase. To explain, this isn't something unique. It happens with most magnetic things. Typically, atoms in any material vibrate in different directions, causing their magnetic fields to cancel each other out. However, when the material cools down, the atoms gradually stop vibrating, leading to an increase in overall magnetism. In simpler terms, if these physicists are correct, the things in the holes might not have completely fallen onto Saturn. Instead, they could be aligned with Saturn's strong magnetic field, causing some parts of Saturn's ring to rise and fall like spikes. But if this is true, why is NASA saying that these rings will completely vanish by 2025? As of now, no calculations are proving that the rings will disappear so quickly. Moreover, different estimates suggest 300 million years, 100 million years, or that the things in the rings are still there, hidden above and below the rings. So, what's the truth and what's not? That's the question. So, with all this confusion, we decided to take a step back and rethink this news about Saturn's rings disappearing in 2025. We found out that, yes, Saturn's rings will seem to disappear in 2025, but only from our viewpoint on Earth. When we noticed that NASA specifically mentioned March 2025, we thought, let's see in which position Saturn will be and how it will appear from Earth during that month. That's when everything became clear. In March 2025, Saturn's equator will be perfectly aligned with the Sun and the Earth, making it look like we're viewing a piece of paper from its side. Now, if you imagine looking at a piece of paper from the side and from a distance, what do you see? Nothing at all. That paper kind of disappears optically. The same thing is happening with Saturn's rings because Saturn is so far away from us. Before someone could reach Saturn, another person would touch the moon 18 times and return. Due to this optical phenomenon, NASA mentioned that we won't be able to see Saturn's rings from Earth for some time in March 2025. However, let's not forget, in 100 million years, these rings will truly be destroyed and disappear. Now, let's get to the final and most interesting question for many viewers. At the beginning, I mentioned the possibility of alien life on two moons of Saturn. Why is that? And could there be intelligent alien life there? Recently, NASA scientists have been exploring the moons of Saturn, Enceladus, and Titan, looking for something that resembles cell membranes and could kickstart unique life there. Around 3 to 4 billion years ago, a similar process occurred on Earth. Initially, molecules called coeservates formed, and from those molecules, basic life structures like cell membranes emerged, leading to the development of complex and diverse life. In the case of Saturn's moons, scientists have identified compounds called acrylonitrile made of carbon. NASA suggests that these compounds have the potential to form cell membranes similar to coeservates. Unlike coeservates, which needed water as a solvent, acrylonitrile uses methane and ethane, which are abundantly present on the moons of Saturn, as a solvent. In essence, Saturn's system seems favorable for sustaining a cell system based on acrylonitrile. This doesn't mean there's currently life, but in the future, a new form of life based on acrylonitrile could potentially evolve. The groundwork seems to be ready, but we need time and scientific theories to develop further. As of now, all we can do is wait, as NASA plans to launch a new mission called Dragonfly in 2027. Personally, I am very excited about it. After this mission, more secrets of Titan will be uncovered. That's all for now in this video. If you enjoyed it, please share it with your friends and family so they can also learn about these fascinating discoveries. To stay curious and keep learning from future informative videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Until then, as always, stay curious and keep learning.